Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at how to write a quadratic equation in vertex form. So we have convert f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 5 into vertex form. Now to complete this problem we could break this down into a few simple steps. But basically what we're doing is we're starting off with a quadratic equation in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And we want to make use of this equation here for vertex form and transform the original equation into this form here. So what we need to do is we're going to find the vertex of our quadratic equation and the coordinate is represented by hk and once we have our vertex and we identify our a value we'll be able to complete this transformation. So to start this problem here we're going to find our vertex for this quadratic equation. So we're going to identify our a and b value. Now the a value is negative 2, and the b value is the coefficient of x, that's equal to 8. So we're going to make use of this equation here. Now this is an equation usually in the form x equals negative b over 2a, which tells you the axis of symmetry, but it also represents the x-coordinate of our vertex. So we have h equals negative b over 2 times a. So if we plug in b is equal to 8, a is equal to negative 2. This gives us h is negative 8 over negative 4, which tells us h is equal to 2. So to find out k, which will tell us the coordinate of our vertex, we're going to plug in 2 into the original function f of x. So we're, we're going to have f of 2 equals, and we have negative 2 times 2 to the second power plus 8 times 2 minus 5. So we just complete the order of operations. The first term should work out to negative 8, positive 16 for the second term, and then minus 5. So we'll have f of 2 equals, and we'll have 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So what this just told us, we're basically there and we're ready to complete this problem, is our vertex is the point 2, 3. And our a value from before is negative 2. And if you want to label these, this represents h, this represents k. So these two items here are enough to complete this problem. So to plug in now, we have y equals, or in this case, we'll have it match what we have up there, f of x. So we'll say f of x equals a is negative 2. So we have negative 2. And then we have x minus h squared. So we're going to have x minus h is equal to 2 squared, and then plus k is equal to 3. Just know uh, the h value 2 is going to change signs. Okay, so we're going to have x minus 2 squared, and then k is going to stay the same. We're going to keep k. So we'll have positive 3 at the end here. And this represents our quadratic equation in vertex form. Now, I would advise checking that this matches what you have here. So if you have a graphing calculator, you should graph both of these and see that the graphs overlap one another. Otherwise, you could check this algebraically, which I'll show right here. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on how to write a quadratic equation in vertex form. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.